Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, May 17th. I'm Marv Eisen. And we begin the day looking at the economic calendar. And today, there are some announcements that are going to be announced pre-market. But the one that I want to call to your attention is at 2 p.m., the Fed chairman is going to be interviewed by the Wall Street Journal. And he might make a statement that causes some volatility in the market at 2 p.m. So uh, just be aware of that. Moving over to the morning news, flags are strongly in the green this morning. Dow is up 400, S&P over 60, uh, oil up to 115, almost 115 over here, okay? And the 10-year treasury is just hovering just below the 3% benchmark. So those are things that could have negative effects on the market. So how do we read the market? Well, I want to call your attention to the one-day chart of the S&P. This is not the E-mini. This doesn't show overnight. This is a one-day chart. And this was Monday, May 16th. This was Monday. But I want to call your attention to Friday's candle. Friday's candle showed a strong push to the upside after a considerable drop, but a strong push to the upside following a meeting line candle on the prior day. But being that this was a Monday following a strong Friday, you would think that the market would tend to head upwards, right? So then let's, let's think like a trader, okay? This is the three-minute chart of Monday, May 16th. And this is my trading zone. Okay, I always draw out my trading zone based on the Taylor calculations. And this was Friday's close, okay, right here at 4020. This was Friday's close. The market started out right over here. And there was some gyration in the morning. But I want to call your attention to the overall, the big picture, okay? Because trading, as difficult as it is, sometimes we have to really look at the past to figure where the future is going to be. And this is difficult. Typically, Monday is the strongest day of the week. I mean, historically, Monday is the strongest day. And following a strong Friday, you would think that Monday was going to be up. But look what happened. Just following the market open, and this is a three-minute candle, just following the market open, market dropped significantly, but then caught its breath, started to move upwards. So this was the possibility for the gap trade, okay? But also, this could have been a possibility for the gap trade, in which case you would have lost, oh, let's see, there's 10 points between each horizontal line. You would have lost well over 20 points. So dangerous trade if you were looking for the gap trade. I always look for the gap trade. And Mondays, I always look for the price to go up, particularly after a strong Friday. But it, it didn't. It didn't. So um, one of the rules, and I have a dozen rules in my course, six of them I, I consider critical. And one of those rules, and it's no secret, when in doubt, get out. When in doubt, get out. All right. The market is a dangerous place to be. So I'm looking for a gap trade and I'm looking for a strong day. So the market is showing volatility and it's showing that it doesn't want to go up. What is going on? Okay. So what I'm going to look for, and I'm, I'm thinking that Monday should go up, but it's not. So what, what am I looking for? I'm looking for an intraday low. Okay. I'm looking for an intraday low. And right here, the market puts in an intraday low with this, with this almost a hammer. It's actually a doji. The market puts, puts in what up to this point was an intraday low and Hmm, is that the intraday low? So we wait a little bit, a little bit more. Uh, it's matched a few minutes later, another candle matching that exactly intraday low. And then the market goes up. I'm looking for a move to the upside. I don't want to trade to the downside on a Monday. I know price is always right. It just didn't make sense. The market finished strongly on Friday. The gap, the close of Friday was up here. It made sense that prices would gravitate back up to the Friday close, which they did ultimately. But if you hopped on, if you looked for that gap trade early, you would have been down 
uh, in nail biting territory and, and very quickly. So remember, when in doubt, get out. If you're looking for a gap trade or if you're looking for a particular trade and it doesn't happen, get out. Make up your mind before you make the trade. Always make up your mind before you make the trade. It's a good idea. Remember, when in doubt, get out. And the best place to be when you're trading is out of the market. Okay, so that's my uh, spiel for the day. Thank you for watching. If you're looking for some insight on how to trade, check out my course at TimelessDollar.com. I even offer a free course in how to avoid the pits, pitfalls and the traps that the market is laying for new traders to take their money. Remember, trading is not easy. Sometimes the market gives us a favor and just goes on a trend when, one way in one direction all day doesn't happen very often. Monday was certainly a difficult day, particularly looking for a trade for a gap trade, which didn't happen until oh about uh, 1030 or so. But if you hopped on looking for that gap trade early in the early in the day, didn't happen. So check out my course at Timeless Dollar. Of course, take the free course, enroll in the free course. And beyond that, my Trading zone was was accurate. A, a word, one one word about the trading zone. What happened over here? The trading zone, um, uh, price has topped out just short of the trading zone. What happened here? Okay, I'm going to show you what happened here. Hindsight is 2020, and I always say, if you want to know what's going to happen in the future in the market, look to the past. So I want to call your attention to this level here, 40, 42 thereabouts. I'm going to go to a, a tighter. Uh, candle this is the this is the five minute candle okay so this is this is 40 42 okay this was the top and I'm gonna move over to the previous day and look what happened the top right here this is where the market put in its top this was actually an overnight session but this is where the market put in its top and that served as uh, the resistance for over here and why prices didn't quite meet up to my calculated resistance line. At any rate, thanks for watching. Marv Eisen from Timeless Dollar. Today's a Tuesday. Trade safely, use a lot of patience, and I'll see you in my next video.